you've ever seen And his name is Mr. Machine He is real, he is real And for you he is ideal And his name is Mr. Machine His outside is clear, you can see every gear The brightest, biggest gears ever seen Mr. Machine He talks, no he squawks as he walks Along the ground and round and round and round. You can take him apart, every gear and nut. But you can put him together and build him up. Wind him. Go on. You can't break the spring, but listen. Hear him ring. Here he comes. Here he comes. Greatest toy you've ever seen. And his name is Mr. Machine. He is real. He is real. And for you, he's a real. And his name is Mr. Machine. The pup is full of tricks. Watch. Back up, Gaylord. Add a boy. Now climb, Gaylord. Up, up. Now fetch your bowl. Got it. Good boy, Gaylord. Gaylord, you look kind of crazy. You look kind of lazy. See what he'll do. Gaylord, when you pull his leash, he'll walk and he walk and he walk with you. Gaylord comes with a bone of his own. He's a wonderful toy. He's ideal. Gaylord, when you pull his leash, he'll walk and he walk and he walk with you. Say, mighty nice looking horse. Yep. Yours? Yep. Hey, mind if I look him over? Mm, nope. Hey, I bet he's real fast. Yep. Hey, look at his legs, Gallop. Say, can you rear him up, too? Yep. Yeah, mighty sturdy stand here. Must be uh, easy to assemble. Yep. Was that him? Yep. He does everything but talk. How about some hay? By Jenny's, he does talk. Now, look, son, I just got to have this horse. Is he for sale? You can get Mattel's place wherever toys are sold. Well, I should have known. Sure, it's Blaze, the fabulous galloping talking horse made only by Mattel. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. Yep. Wherever you go, now you can take Chatty Cathy with you in Mattel's new Chatty Cathy Stroller. It works five different ways. It's a stroller. And it turns around. And when Chatty Cathy says, I'm sleepy, her stroller becomes a carriage bed. It's even a carry-all to take Chatty with you. When it's time to go home, Chatty's stroller turns into a car seat, too. I love you. And Chatty Cathy will love her new stroller. You will, too. It works one, two, three, four, five ways. Well, it's Chatty Cathy's stroller by the tail. The Bucky, the Bucky, it's time for the big question. <laughs> Turn on the radio. Well, what's the matter? What's the matter? I don't know, boss. Nothing but static. Well, let me see. The antenna's been broken off. Who do? NSC Tuxedo. And the name we're calling tonight is Stanley Livingston. We're dialing right now. The Tennessee. Stanley, they're calling you. Yeah. Me? One, two, three. Time again for Tennessee Tuxedo and his tail. This portion presented by the Big G General Mills Cereals, makers of Cheerios, the toasted oat cereal with go. What's wackier than getting a poodle cut? Is it boating with your pet gorilla? Uh-uh. 
It's eating banana wackies. Banana wackies? Wow! The whack, whack, wacky cereal. Ooh! From General Mills. Made from oats and banana flavored bits. In the whack, whack, wacky shape. Banana bingo. Banana jangles. Oak loop. Oak clots. And lots more wacky shapes. It's the new oat cereal with banana flavored bits. The lips smackiest. Wacky! Yeah, yeah, yeah. A new big key general mill cereal. It's the whack, whack, wackiest. This Lewis child wants. I know, Frosty O's. Sorry, Baldy. Frosty O's are for breakfast. Frosty Riffic snacking, too. Shaped like sugar frosty donuts. Frosty O's. Come on and see, see, see. The radio program that gives away absolutely free a 10-day vacation cruise on America's most luxurious ocean liner. Remember, if the telephone rings and you're listening to the radio, you may be the winner. Flunky, I have a feeling that they're going to call me tomorrow night. Now, we don't want to miss that program. Uh, gee, Tennessee, I thought we were going fishing. Uh, what are we doing up here on Stanley's roof? We're going to fish, Chumley. I've got a feeling they're going to call me for the big question. And you have to be listening to the radio to win. But we haven't got a radio. No, but we will have in a couple of minutes. We're going to fish for Stanley's radio. No need to ask Stanley, we'll just borrow it. Watch this. <whistles> Hooked it, Chumley. Now let's reel it in. John, it's just an old clock. Uh, shall I throw it back? No, Chumley, put it down and I'll try again. Got it this time. Hey, look, a picture of Stanley. Yeah, just what I wanted. But that's the thing about fishing. You've got to have patience. Flunky, Flunky, look at this room. Half the furniture is missing. The clock, my picture, the lamps, the chairs. Yeah, there's not much left but the radio. The radio. The radio. I'll grab it. Uh, uh. Another big one, Chumley. This must be the radio. But how can it be so heavy? Here, give me a hand. I can't hold it in. Eve. Eve. Oh! Hang on, hang on, Mr. Livingston. Uh, uh, boy, uh, this sure is a uh, heavy radio. Yeah, I hope the line doesn't break. <laughs> Never mind, Mr. Livingston. I saved the radio. Hey, Tennessee, what are you doing with that red suit? I'm going calling. Here, hold on to the end of this rope. Now who? Who would want to steal my radio? Tennessee Tuxedo! Ho, ho, ho! Santa Claus! That's right, Stanley Livingston. Santa Claus in person. Yeah, but it's not even Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I know it. I've come to take back the radio you got last year. You've been a bad little boy, and I'm taking it back. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, but Santa, wait. Wait. I need that radio. Too bad, Stanley, but you should have been a better little boy during the year. Maybe this will teach you a lesson. <laughs> Is that okay now, Tennessee? Uh, should I pull you up now, Tennessee? <laughs> Tennessee! Now, wait a minute, Stanley. Flunky, open the door. And stay away from here, you pesky penguin. Yes? Good afternoon, sir. We're from the Big Windy Vacuum Cleaner Company, and we'd like to give you a demonstration of our powerful super vacuum cleaner. 
Give me an eye. Now, if you'll just stand aside, my assistant will plug in the cleaner, and we'll show you what a remarkable machine it is. Give me an already have. Allow one. me to demonstrate. Observe, sir, the dust on the top of this radio. Hey, what happened to my radio? Your crazy machine swallowed... Yeah, well, Tennessee tuxedo! Now wait, Stanley. Don't you now wait, Stanley, me. You just let my radio alone. But I need that radio. I've got to be listening when the big question program calls me tomorrow night. And I win that 10-day vacation. Call you? I'm the one they're going to call. I'm the one who's going to win that boat trip. What's more, I'm going to bolt this radio down so you'll never get it. And for this crazy vacuum cleaner... Now hold on, Stanley. We have to get a radio, Chumley. Tennessee Tuxedo will not fail. Uh, maybe Mr. Whoopi can help us. Good idea. Let's go. Sue, meet Marvin the robot. <laughs> Later, kid. Wait, Sue, I built it myself. That's what worries me. Watch this. Marvin, pick up Sue. Put Sue down. Marvin, put Sue down. <laughs> uh, faulty wiring. Thanks, I heat. Help! Uh-oh. Time for Cheerios Go! Shaped like an O, like an O, like an O. With slam, bang, blast off, power popping, go! I've got Cheerios Go, Go, Go power! Remember, big G, little O. Go with the goodness of Cheerios. What do you think, Sue? I think we should rewire your brain. So you see, Mr. Whoopi, we've got to have a radio, but we don't have any money to buy one. Could we make one? Of course, my boy. I'll show you how to make a crystal set, the kind I used to make when I was a lad. Uh, does it need batteries? No batteries, and you don't have to plug it into the wall, either. Then how can it work? First, you have to understand what radio is. Long ago, in 1887, a German named Heinrich Hertz invented a machine that could send waves of electricity through the air. These became known as Hertzian waves. We know them today as radio waves because they radiate out in all directions. I get it. Just like when you drop a stone into water. Precisely, my boy. Now, we can't see or feel or hear these waves, so we need something called a detector to detect the waves. Back in the old days, the best detectors were minerals that came from the ground. Like coal? Well, not coal, but lots of other minerals, like this little Galena crystal. You mean I can just hold it up to my ear? Not exactly. We need some other equipment. Look here. This is called a detector stand. At this end is the holder for the crystal detector. At this end is a rod with a fine wire spring called a cat's whisker. Now, to these little posts, we connect a pair of earphones. Now, can we hear the radio waves? Not yet. First, we have to connect a very important part called the antenna, which is a wire about 75 feet long running outside the house. The antenna helps collect the radio waves and bring them into the crystal detector. Now, by moving the cat's whisker over the surface of the crystal, we can find a sensitive spot. <laughs> Whoopee! Oh, oh, oh. I hear music. Uh, why no batteries of electricity? Because radio waves themselves are electricity. Boy, this is just what we need. Take it, my boy. But don't forget, you need a long wire antenna. Phineas J. Whoopee, you're the greatest. All right, Chumley. I'll get things set up here while you go out and look for a long piece of wire to use for an antenna. Uh, gee, there's a long wire running from Stanley's house to that tree. Yeah, I'll just climb up and borrow it. It doesn't look like anybody is using it anyway. <clears throat> uh, boy, it sure is fastened on tight. Uh. <laughs> There. Everything's ready and just in time, too. The program is almost on the air. 
Funky, Funky, it's time for the big question. <laughs> Turn on the radio. Well, what's the matter? What's the matter? I don't know, boss. Nothing but static. Well, let me see. Look, the antenna's been broken off. Who do... Tennessee Tuxedo. And the name we're calling tonight is Stanley Livingston. We're dialing right now. Tennessee! Stanley, they're calling you. Yeah, me? Me? The phone? The phone? Where's the phone? At your house, Stanley. They're calling at your house. Good grief. <laughs> Hello? 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 Mr. Livingston, this is the big question. Can you tell us what song we're playing on the radio right now? On the radio? Good grief! My radio isn't working! Oh, no! Oh, I'm so sorry. But if you aren't listening to the radio, you can't win the 10-day cruise. Goodbye! Maybe I didn't win that 10-day cruise, but I'm going to take one anyway. And I know just who's going to take it with me. Keep rowing, fellows. Only nine more days. you get Johnny Rep, Remco's authentic Civil War cannon, 1198, complete with loader, cannonballs, tow rope, and battle flag. Remember, every boy wants a Remco toy, and so do girls. <laughs> 